You've waited an eternity for this. I dare you to say it a third time. The wait is almost over. The ghost with the most is back. In 2024, Lydia Dietz hosts a supernatural talk show called Ghost House. She is estranged from her daughter, Astrid, after the death of her husband, Richard, in the Amazon. While filming a segment, Lydia has visions of Beetlejuice, the ghost who tried to marry her 36 years ago, in the audience. Disturbed, she goes to the restroom to gather herself, where her boyfriend and producer, Rory, tries to console her. While there, Lydia receives urgent text messages from her stepmother, Delia, asking to meet immediately. Delia informs Lydia of her father Charles' death as they travel for his funeral service. The remaining members of the Dietz family pick up Lydia's daughter, Astrid, from boarding school. Lydia and Astrid's father, Richard, had divorced two years before his disappearance. The family gathers in Winter River, Connecticut, to lay Charles to rest. During the wake, Rory proposes to Lydia, pressuring her to marry him on Halloween, and she reluctantly agrees. Upset by Lydia's decision, Astrid rides her bike through town and meets a boy named Jeremy. She quickly takes a liking to him and agrees to spend Halloween with him. In the afterlife, Beetlejuice runs a bio-exorcist's office, and he remains obsessed with Lydia. Ghost detective Wolf Jackson informs him that his ex-wife, Dolores, has escaped captivity and is on a killing spree, draining the souls of the deceased. Beetlejuice recounts their history, explaining they met during the Black Plague in Italy. Dolores, a cult member, poisoned him as part of an immortality ritual, and in revenge, he killed her before succumbing to the poison. On Halloween, Astrid is stunned to discover she has inherited her mother's supernatural abilities and learns that Jeremy is actually a ghost. Jeremy pleads with her to accompany him to the afterlife to help him regain his life, promising that in return, she will be able to meet her father's spirit. Astrid recites an incantation from the handbook for the recently deceased, and the two are transported to the afterlife. Meanwhile, Lydia finds out from a realtor that Jeremy had murdered his parents 23 years ago and was killed by the police during his arrest. Realizing the danger Astrid is in, Lydia reluctantly summons Beetlejuice to help retrieve her daughter and bring her back safely. Beetlejuice agrees to help, but only on the condition that Lydia marries him. This would allow him to cross over into the real world, escaping the danger posed by his ex-wife who is hunting him in the afterlife. Reluctantly, Lydia agrees to the deal. Beetlejuice and Lydia search for Astrid, while Jeremy guides Astrid through the afterlife's bureaucracy. Jeremy confesses that he deceived her into trading her life for his. Astrid is then taken to the Soul Train to be sent to the Great Beyond. But her father, Richard, now working as an immigration officer, follows her. Lydia rescues Astrid from the Soul Train, and they escape through a portal to Saturn's moon, Titan, where Richard saves them from a sandworm. Beetlejuice banishes Jeremy to hell, and Richard shows Lydia and Astrid how to return to the living world. Meanwhile, Delia holds a ceremony to mourn Charles and is bitten by two venomous snakes she believed to be defanged. She ends up in the afterlife and summons Beetlejuice to help find Charles. Beetlejuice agrees, but only if Delia helps him locate Lydia. Lydia and Astrid arrive at the church, where Rory is waiting at the altar. Soon after, Beetlejuice and Delia show up, and Beetlejuice injects Rory with a truth serum. Under its influence, Rory confesses that he only wants to marry Lydia for her money. Lydia punches Rory, knocking him out. Beetlejuice then dresses both himself and Lydia in formal wedding attire, preparing to marry her. But Dolores arrives looking for revenge. Using the handbook for the recently deceased, Astrid summons a sandworm to the church to attack Beetlejuice. But Beetlejuice manages to lead the creature to eat both Dolores and Rory. Astrid discovers that Beetlejuice has broken his own contract Suddenly, Beetlejuice begins inflating like a balloon and explodes. 
Afterward, Lydia and Astrid comfort Delia, assuring her of their love. Delia crosses over with them, where she reconciles with what's left of Charles. She then boards the soul train, heading to the afterlife. Sometime later, Lydia films the final segment of her show, deciding to retire the series to spend more time with Astrid. The two travel to Transylvania and visit Dracula's castle, where Astrid develops a crush on an employee named Vlad. Astrid and Vlad eventually marry. Despite the happy occasion, Lydia continues to have nightmares about Beetlejuice, including one where Astrid having his child, hinting that Beetlejuice will not stop pursuing her. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.